Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to work on my pond because I have a lot of string algae going on. I'm going to try to get them, get rid of them a bit more. Hopefully they will stay away with the amount of plants that I planted with them. Hey, more. And I'll uh, try it out a bit here. I just wiggled the stones around and it came all loose so I could scoop it up with a small uh, nut and uh, I'll try it on the other side of the waterfall. It's already way better, but unfortunately, now you can see the pond anymore. It will need to settle down. By tomorrow, it should be fine. Apparently, there's a strange vial going on. There's all sorts of green stuff, small green things going on on the surface of the water. I don't understand, I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys know. Let me know in the comment section below. Hey, good morning guys, Vertigo117 here. And today I'm going to make a vacuum for my a vacuum cleaner actually for my pond and what you'll need is a Y piece like this as well as tubing and uh, suck nothings but I'm going to wait for my wife to come home I don't want to screw up our uh, best pair of suckings uh, a drill a saw and an air compressor but I'll show you that later on and first thing I'm going to do is cut a small angle on the piping, not too big, like 30-ish, uh, 30 maybe 35 degrees. And I'll scoop it all off when I need to. And uh, I've put a marker already on the height. It's about the depth of the pond, plus few inches. And then this will come on top of it, and the other piece will go in there. But you will see as we go along. Because my tubing it goes in here but not in the other side I'll have to heat up this side when you heat it up Turn it around so that it's evenly spread. Don't keep it for too long on one spot. And you will see it will start melting. There we go. And we'll let that settle. Watch out, it's hot. Oops. 
<laughs> what I try to do here, so you see the angle, and I try to put it like this, so that the water will spout out into the netting, and I'll just put this on top. It's almost done. Simple and easy. Then this is just an air tube for my air stones and an air pump. And I will drill a small hole here about well, two and a half centimeters, so it should be about an inch I think on the top side of the angle the right diameter just make a small hole and if you can do it do it in an angle so you have to make a small hole first you got a bit of a grip in the tube and then you should be able there you go. I need to clean this all out before I use it. But I'll do that off camera. Um, put the tubing in. And I will leave a small bent in it so that it stays upward in the tubing. But I'll show it when it's cleaner. You will see much better. There we go. That's about it. It's all done. When it's clean, I'll show you. There you go, guys. A bit of a close-up on how it goes. The the tubing goes inside. It goes upwards. And I just bend it a little here. See, simple, easy. Now we'll test it out. Check out what the catch is. It's quite a bit of algae in it, that's for sure. Okay, nice. Better than expected, actually. Quite big stones as well. So I think four bar is too much. Two bar should do the trick. And if you go for two bar, maybe you can use a bicycle pump. Who knows? You know those uh, small uh, uh, compressors to blow up bicycle tires? All that junk. All weeds. There we go. So I was going to talk about my compressor as well. I just have a small handheld compressor. Goes up to 8 bar. And I've put it on 3 bar. Yeah, 2 should do the trick as well. But it's hard because there's a problem inside with it so I, I got it cheap. From a friend of mine who was getting rid of it, had it for a very soft price. I'm very happy with it. it. Does everything I need. And this is the pump that I was talking about. Maybe if you are able to hook up an air tube to this connector, uh, like from floaties or something like that. Uh, it's normally to blow up uh, bicycle tires and it should be fine I think it's quite an old one 
and it works on 12 volts so if you have an adapter for 12 volt maybe you'll be able to use this instead of a big compressor if you ever test out this method please let me know leave a comment in the sections in the comment section below and I hope you guys will try it out it works for me it might be because my pond isn't that deep but it works for me quite pleased thanks for watching guys if you're new to the channel you want to see some more videos like this subscribe peace out